I'm Wendy Rieger from the beautiful Girl For from almost Eastland 35 years, and... Wendy Rieger had a way of lighting up the screen. Hi, Mom! You never quite knew what you were going to get. And do your own thing. When I said, Okay. Except for, yeah, yeah, you did. You knew exactly what you'd get because for all these years, Wendy was Wendy. Smart, funny, compassionate, and authentically herself. She shared a lot of her life with us over the years. Her homes, her cats, her boat, her love of wine, and her deep love of our area from the waters of Maryland to the mountains of Virginia and of course, the culture of Washington. From the Corcoran Gallery, I'm Wendy Rieger. Wendy came to Washington to study at American University. Her career started in radio with her strong, expressive voice emanating from WAMU and WTOP. But when she started here at NBC4, Hey there, I'm Wendy Rieger, welcome. It was clear that Wendy belonged in front of the camera. This is the bay. You may remember Wendy's unique coverage of hurricanes up and down the East Coast. Here you get a raw sense of this wind. She also reported from the Olympics in Brazil. Hearing the anthem being played tonight. A royal Hi, wedding in England. And she chased news from New Zealand to Vietnam over the years. And for 20 years, she was that fun, engaging friend to check in with every evening at 5. First with Susan Kidd, then for 14 years with the guy she calls Hanley. Their chemistry was magical from the start, and we could hear their howling laughter in the makeup room, at their desks, or even on the set. Good evening, I'm Wendy Rieger. Yeah, buckle up, folks. I'm Jim Antley. Spontaneous and fun? <laughs> she is oh, yes. Beautiful. But Wendy also knew her stuff. Producers always knew Wendy could ad-lib complicated foreign policy news or a breaking political story. She was also one of the first television journalists to regularly cover the environment with her breakthrough Going Green series. And oh, can she write. Her scripts were the standard we all aspired to reach. Here's how our late colleague and Wendy's dear friend Jim Vance described her writing talent. Because Wendy is one fine, finely skilled person with a pen. The last story Wendy wrote was a heartfelt reflection on our late colleague, Joe Krebs. She was going to miss his funeral that week because she wasn't feeling well. As it turned out, a brain tumor was the cause of her symptoms, and that diagnosis came just a few months after Wendy had open heart surgery, which she and I had talked about in an interview. She wanted to warn people to pay attention to their symptoms. Through all of that, on TV and off, Wendy showed all of us just what kind of strength she had. And when she signed off the air after 33 years, we saw our strong, smart, creative, curious friend look back with pride and look ahead with hope. And all of you out there, thank you for letting me in your home. Thank you for letting me tell your stories. This is not goodbye. I will be around. I will see you at the pub. <laughs> We're counting. Wendy's on. cancer returned just a few months after that magical day. She fought hard. In a note to the newsroom, she wrote this. As you know, I have lived my life big and loud. It is my nature, and I've had a blast. But a stillness has come over me that is profound and potent. I didn't know I could be this quiet. Life is not always a test, she wrote. It is a teaching. I must learn this lesson with grace. And I will. And you did, Wendy. You did. With the grace and dignity, we will always remember.